Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about reacting masses. Let's say you have a question like this. Calculate the mass of oxygen needed to react with 20 grams of calcium to form calcium oxide. And we have the balanced equation. So the first thing you want to do is identify the mass of and grams of. So you want to look at the question and underline where it says mass of and where it says grams of. So we can see it says mass of oxygen and grams of calcium. Next, we're going to make a table like this and we're going to call it mass and moles. And those two things that you identified, so the oxygen and the calcium, will go on your table like so. Anything else, for example, calcium oxide, or if there's any other stuff, you can completely ignore, ignore them. Okay, next we're going to write down whose masses we already know. For example, we already know there's 20 grams of calcium. And of course, we want to work out the mass of oxygen, so we don't know the value for that. So how do we go from mass to mass? We first of all have to go down and turn it into moles. So to, so to turn mass into moles, we're going to divide it by the relative atomic mass. So you're going to need your periodic table. So there's calcium. Now there's always going to be two numbers. You want to select the larger number. In this case, it's going to be 40. So we're going to do 20 divided by 40, and that gives us 0 0.5 moles. Next, to go from calcium to oxygen, we're going to use the big numbers. As you can see, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Because there's nothing in front of oxygen, we can just assume it's 1. That means you're going to divide your moles by 2. So again, 0 0.5 divided by 2, that gives you 0 0.25 moles. Now the final part is to convert moles back into mass. So this time we're going to times it by the MR. So again, you're going to look at your periodic table. We can see oxygen has a mass of 16. Remember, it's always the big number. Now, however, in this molecule of O2, that means there are two oxygens. So we're going to have to add them together and that gives you 32. So the MR of oxygen is 32. And you're going to do 0 0.25 times 32 and that should give you eight grams. So the final answer is, if you have 20 grams of calcium, you're going to get eight grams of oxygen. Okay, let's try another question. What mass of propane could burn in 64 grams of oxygen? Again, the first thing we're going to do is highlight mass of and grams of. Okay, so mass of propane and grams of oxygen. Next, we're gonna make our table mass and moles, we're going to write down the two things we identified that was most important. It was the propane and it was the oxygen. So that means carbon dioxide and water, we can ignore them for now. Okay, so we know the mass of oxygen is 64 and the mass of propane is what we want to work out. So how do we go from mass into moles? We divide by MR. Again, oxygen is 16 and 8. Since we have O2, that means we have two 16s, so that means the MR of oxygen is going to be 32. So we're going to divide the mass by MR, so 64 divided by 32, and that gives you two moles. So how do we work out moles of propane? Again, we're going to use the big numbers now to work out the ratio. So five in front of oxygen, and there's nothing in front of propane, so we can just say it's a one, so it's a five to one ratio. What that means is I'm going to divide my moles by 5. Okay, so 2 divided by 5, and that gives you 0 0.4. Finally, we have moles of propane. The next thing is we want to work out mass of propane. So we're going to times it by the MR of propane. Now, propane is carbon and hydrogen. So let's have a look. Carbon's mass is 12, and hydrogen's mass is 1. Since we have three carbons, we're going to do 3 times 12. And since we have eight hydrogens, we're going to do one times eight. That gives you a total value of 44. So the MR of propane is 44. So we're going to times our moles by 44. And that gives us the mass of propane, 17.6 grams. So 64 grams of oxygen reacts with 17.6 grams of propane. Okay, hang in there. Last question. What mass of chlorine reacts with 10 grams of iron to form iron chloride? So you guys should know the drill by now. What's the first thing we do? We're going to highlight mass of and grams of. So mass of chlorine and grams of iron. So those are our two most important 
chemicals in this uh, question. So we're going to write mass and moles. Then we're going to write iron and chlorine. We can ignore iron chloride, the guy on the left. We can ignore that. It's not important. So mass of, mass of iron sorry, is 10 grams. Mass of chlorine, we're not sure. So we can work it out by turning mass into moles first. So again, we're going to need the periodic table to work out the relative atomic mass of iron, which is the big number, 56. Since we have one iron, we can just do 56 times 1. So that means the relative atomic mass is going to be 56. 10 divided by 56 gives us 0 0.179 to three decimal places. Now we have to convert iron's mold to chlorine. So if you look at the big numbers, the ratio is 2 to 3 meaning that we have to divide by 2 first and then times it by 3. So we're going to do the same at the bottom, divide by 2 times by 3. And that gives us moles of 0 0.269 of chlorine. Again, the final part is to convert moles into mass, meaning that we have to times it by the MR. So chlorine, if you look at your periodic table, it's 35.5. Again, remember, we have two chlorines in this molecule. So it's going to be 35.5 times 2, so 71 is the MR. Times your moles by, by the MR, so uh, 0 0.269 times by 71, and that gives you the final answer of 19.1 grams. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.